In the niche field of embedding models, I believe Gina AI is one reputable name. I have been covering their embedding and few other models for quite some time and they always come up with something very solid. In this video, I am going to share with you this Gina code embedding 1.5 billion parameter model which we are going to install locally and we are going to test it out with one real world use case. This model is a lean code first cousin of Quen 2.5 coder that squeezes your whole repo into a single 1536D vector or any other smaller Matryoshka layer down to 128D. I will be explaining what exactly that means shortly in the video. But please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So, what exactly is this model in very, very simple words? It enables you to convert your code into numerical representation and then you can run similarity searches, you can build your own rag pipeline on your own code repos. The model is quite small and it is multilingual in terms of programming languages as it supports around 15 languages which are quite well known. So let's get started. So first I'm going to install it locally and then I will show you how it works on a toy repo and then we will go from there. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card and VDRTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM but you really don't need a GPU for an embedding model especially this Gina AI's embedding model. Also um, the sponsors of the video are Mast Compute. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find their link in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, so let me now install these prerequisites. You can use it with transformers, sentence transformers, which is specific to embeddings. And also with VLLM, I'm just going to go with sentence transformer. So let me run this while it installs it let me also introduce you to the sponsors who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and everything is now installed next up I'm going to log into hugging face and I'm logging in with my read token which you can also grab from huggingface.co for free and this is necessary for using the model locally in order to download it we need that token so first step let's download the model and do a quick test i have just written this simple python code to download the model after importing the sentence transformers and torch library then this is the model I'm getting. By the way, it also comes into a 0.5 billion parameter, um, per, you know, variant too, if you're interested. If you don't have flash attention, just comment it, put a hash sign here. And then I'm just using these two to encode or convert our text into numerical representations like hi and hi and hello. And then I'm checking what exactly is the cosine similarity. So this code chunk should download the model first and then it should give us how similar these two are and that is what we use these um, embedding models for generally for similarity searches and there are few other purposes too but this is the most common use case okay so let me quickly run this i'm just going to use it with the test china and the model is being downloaded. It is just over 3K, should be able to run easily on CPU. And there you go, the model is downloaded and then it has generated a score that how similar these are. The score is quite high, closer to one, the more similar the sentences are. As you can see that we use this, um, I'll just go back, hi and hello here. If you put something else, it is going to give you like, if you put here, path and then you can if you I'll just clear it and then if you just simply test it it is going to give you a different response
and there you go this time you see the score is very very low point to it because these are totally different words okay so now we know what is happening here let me you now show you what i'm going to do here as a real world use case so if you look here i have this source directory which has some source python file there is a math util file there is a metric util file so these are the source file and these will be like some sort of search queries so these are the data and then these are few of the tests so for math util we have this test for metric we have metric test and then there is a random string utility test which i have used now what i'm going to do i'm going to embed both of these with the help of model in a code to code prompt and then i am going to do cosine match each source file to its nearest test neighbor and then i am going to show a tiny json map providing that gina correctly pairs or not so this source this test after decoding and this is a code which it does it so it goes into test directory then it takes the model it converts it into embedding and then this is a prompt which i have mapped and then it gives us the result back this is all it is doing so uh, and then it is going to also tell us which is similar and which is not so let me go back here clear the screen and then let's do the what is the name of the file find best match I just need to give the proper file name here. So this is my file name, find best test. And there you go. You can see that it has matched both of these math with the math, metric with metric. And then it has saved the mapping here, which I will show you shortly. But let me run it again and I will show you the VRAM consumption in real time. So model is running, running, running. There you go. So 1.4. 3.7 gig of VRAM, it just jumps up to. So if you want, you can even use the smaller one. Okay, so now let me show you that JSON file. So this is a small mapping I have created in the data directory. If you want, you can also spew out the scores and all that stuff here. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, sort of a real world use case where we have actually used it on a repo to see how things match with each other. There are various other good models from Gina. If you're interested, just go to my channel, search with Gina, and you should be able to find heaps of model models. I've been covering them a lot. And of course, um, there are a lot of other embedding models I have covered from various other providers. So do check them out. That's it. Please like the video, subscribe, and consider becoming a member because that is one way of supporting the channel. And I will be very, very obliged if you become a member. Thank you for all the support.